Where are we going, Andrew? Uh, we're going to Walmart. Why Walmart? We need some milk. Is that the best place to buy milk? No. A few minutes, not that long. What are you gonna get with all your ones? Uh, I got six bucks on me. All your Washingtons. That I earned for, from doing hard work, so I'm gonna buy some candy probably. What kind of yard work? Mowing lawns. Oh, you made with six bucks? Or you already spent all your other money? Spent. I put most of it in the bank though, so I'm saving up. How much did you make? Look at the doggy. Hi, doggy. Does the doggy have fun? Well, how much money I make all depends on how many customers I have at one time. What's the most you made in a year? Um, a year would be not not much, twelve hundred dollars. That's a lot for a young man like you. Yeah, I guess. Do you have an LLC or is it an S corp? A what? How long have you been driving golf carts? Oh, a few years. You ever had a wreck? Well, I almost hit a tree. I hit a car. You hit a car? Yeah. How'd that happen? I backed out wrong. It wasn't good. Backed out of your driveway? Yeah. So you're part of the family club of hitting cars <laughs> in the driveway? <laughs> yeah, I hit Alex um, Subaru Legacy. So everybody that lives there has hit a car backing out. Yeah. What about you? I have not. Oh. I've had my car hit by your brother. <laughs> Politics seem like a big thing today. What do you like about Trump? Says it how it is. I will I'll watch all the debates. I've seen them in person. Seems like a pretty alright guy to me. What do you like about Hillary? Uh, who said I liked her? <laughs> I mean, she's getting some votes because she's a woman. There's one thing. She's getting some votes because she's not Trump. That's another thing. And I don't really know what else. You almost hit that squirrel. Yeah, it's the squirrel's fault. So you're pretty confident that it's going to be Trump v. Clinton? No idea. The way they're trying to shake it up now. Yeah. You think that broker convention talk? You think Bernie has a shot at anything? Little Marco. I don't think Bernie's voters are going to vote for Hillary. Maybe half of them, but the other half, I think, will either not vote or vote for Trump, if Trump is in the general. One thing Bernie has going for him is he's not Hillary. And if it's Hillary and Trump, and, um, something Trump will have going for him is that he's not Hillary. Well, he's not established. Yeah. So he has quite Neither a bit going for him. Well, Sanders kind of really is establishment. Yeah, but... You know how old, you know you already made $1,200 working? You know how old Sanders was when he first started working? Oh. 40. Yeah. Well, I can kind of respect and get behind him because he's... Watch out! Whoa. Because he's getting millions of small small donations. Trump is paying for himself, and the rest of them, I don't even know. I've never even seen this neighborhood. Uh, I drive through it a lot. Hello? Okay. Alright, so now I remember, milk and coleslaw now is added to our list. 
don't think I can remember that. There's the popo. Yeah. What do you think is going on? I don't know. The ambulance too. Oh. It might be an accident of some sort. Southland Health. And, oh, it's an old person. Oh, it's a golf cart crash. Oh. What is it? So what else is happening politically today? Trump's well, they have all those caucuses and primaries today, five, four or five of them. Republican or Democratic? A little bit of both. Oh. Now, which party do you think our next president will belong to? Probably the Republican. That's usually how it works out. Unless they have the broker, or not the broker, unless somebody puts a third party in for, uh, for the establishment. Yeah. That was an old dog, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, he was a nice dog, though. Came right up to me. He did. Yeah. So, why do you think lots of people don't like Trump? Because he's not bought and paid for by the big banks in New York. Now, what about everyday people who aren't big banks? Why do you think they don't like Trump? Accusing him of being racist? Supporting white supremacy because they're only getting half the story because they only have A couple of sources from which they gather their news. I also think it might be a sort of group mentality It has been proven that when people are bombarded with lots of information like today's politics Let's hear that. Oh. Train tracks yeah. But it has been proven that when people are bombarded with all of this constant information and it's difficult to keep up, for example, today's politics, they tend to follow the herd and do what everyone else is doing. And it seems that lots of people don't like Trump. And you see people on MSNBC in the video you posted a while ago, and Fox and CNN all bashing them all the time, they tend to just follow suit and do the same. Yeah. Hmm. I'll agree with that. Trump tries using those tactics too, though, by saying uh, everybody supports him, that he's winning in every polls. Well, he is winning in every poll. Yeah. But he, I think he's more so saying that because he's also using that fact too that other people will think the herd is going towards Trump and they'll follow that too because he realizes not everybody watches every single debate not everybody will see every speech he gives but it's really interesting politics, you know? there's always something new what's that? it's a Dr. Pepper Why would somebody just leave a Dr. Pepper out like that? Oh wait, do we miss our stop? Sorry, I was distracted by Dr. Peppers and things.
now. To the gas station. Well, we're lost. Yeah. We're never getting out of here. I think I know where I am. It's funny if, uh, if you're on a path, you don't get lost. If you're on the road, you get lost. Yeah. Follow the golf cart. Yep. Yep. We made out. Famous Andrew Carr. I'll put a link to his channel below. Sure. This is our turn. We're home. Yeah. We're home. <laughs>